Hello, good afternoon. It's Sandy here. Hope you're well. Um, I've perked up dramatically, so to speak. Um, I've had a good night's sleep. And as I said before on a vlog, each day is a new day. One wakes up and one makes a fresh start each day. Today I'm going to show you my doll collection. I used to collect dolls on a much more substantial capacity to now. I don't mind comparing, but I don't have the space in my flat. And I had some very, very big dolls. One of which was, gosh, um, superb. And I would have loved to have kept it. It was my largest doll. And it was it was large, possibly larger than the, larger than a two three year old um, toddler. In fact, definitely taller, in my opinion, of definitely. But I'll show you my now collection, and it's a very lovely collection. I love it. I just um, would like love to share this beautiful beautiful hobby of mine with yourselves. First of all, I have the most superb Indian doll. Um, I seem to recall buying it online, if I recall correctly. And just look at this lady. What a super, super doll. For me, super anyway. And um, i just sorry I didn't have this doll when I was a child because what a lovely doll to play with, so cute. Beautiful red dress. I love it. I'm so impressed. And then I shall just um, show you my beautiful, beautiful Annie doll. You know, from Little Orphan Annie, my Annie obsession. Here we are, there's Aileen Quinn, the little girl who played Annie in one of the Annie films. And here seems to be a doll of Aileen Quinn, as Aileen Quinn. And inside, I think I placed a program inside that I ordered online. It's a, quite a old program from the show, from the theater show that, um, I've kept the Annie in the box because I think it's just so original and lovely to have it in its original box. And I have one more Annie. This one I think I bought when I went to see the show about three years ago in London. And here we are. I don't know which one you prefer. I like each one. And this one is lovely because I think it's I think the name is Rad Doll. Sorry, I wasn't on the screen for a moment. I and and I just um, can just see the little doll singing tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. The red dress and the lovely hair. And then I've got, which I needed to really mention at the beginning. However, never mind. Um, my fa late father's late father um, had a doll factory and um, the name of the dolls, um, the name of the doll that my late grandfather um, had made in his factory, the name was British National Dolls. I once auctioned about 30 years ago I was driving my car, my then car, and I think it was on the radio, or the, no, it might have been on the phone, there was an auction, and I won it. I think I paid 20 pounds, this is a British national doll from my late grandfather's factory. I bought the dress from Woolworths, I think, when it was just about to close in Harrow and Wealdstone. And I remember my then boyfriend, Martin, said to me, why are you buying a, a baby dress? And I said, because I love to buy a baby dress. And I so wish to place a nice baby dress, or if you like, a toddler stroke baby dress, on my British National doll. 
so here we are um i think it's super that um the cat the animal the uh, cat the animal the doll has um pink hair and i'm just a bit confused yes that's right blonde hair i'm just checking yes blonde hair i think there we are there's the bottom part however i i seem to recall that i placed some pink in the in the on the head and then i think i bought this little cap especially for the doll and then i have the lovely shoes which are my favorites i just think the shoes are so cute and i bought them specially for this doll and the socks i don't recall but here we are as I said, I, I think I said anyway, I paid 20 pounds, I think, for this doll. The head came off once and my lovely parents sent the doll off to have the head repaired and placed back onto the doll. And that's quite an antique, so I'm very flattered to have that. And I did purchase, if I recall correctly, a couple of pieces of clothing for my British National doll so that occasionally I can change clothing on the doll and I think that's a very cute dress I love flowers on clothing and here more flowers for my British National doll I absolutely fell in love with this jumpsuit isn't it cute and then a spare pair of shoes I seem to recall and here we are my super dream child stroke baby stroke toddler shoe please look at that how cute can you get if i had a daughter i'd dress my daughter as a little princess and my british national doll is going to be the best dressed british national doll Ever. So I have a type of a rag doll type of figure again, ballerina, and my other ballerina. If I remember correctly, I have two ballerinas. I'm just trying to remember where I've put my ballerina. Oh, here we are. Ballerina number two. And I love it that they have pink hair because that's so sandy. There we are, pointing pink tutu dresses, lovely pretty faces. I'd love click, <laughs> that's so nice. Except both seem to be, I think, in ragdoll type style. And I got another type of ragdoll, I think one says, and yet another. Again, the mauves and the pinks and the blonde hair and the pussy cat on the mauve dress, lovely stripy socks, pink shoes or socks, mauve socks. I just think they're so cute. And yet again, Sandy does like ragdoll types, I think one says. Here we are, more. Again, the lovely multicolored footwear and tights and the pink dress the multicolored pastel colored super super hair and this one like is in a barn as if one's about to do the ballet and the pink earmuffs and i think this one's wearing a bit of makeup and then we have the, the skates i think one says is it skates i think so and the super blue dress with the sparkles on it stars i just think they're so cute and i got surprise surprise another type of i think one says ragdoll type as i keep saying so we've got the lovely pinky mauvey feet and then the lovely pinky mauvey dress and the super hat and the super hair and a smile. Oh, isn't she? 
And this is from when I went to see the musical Matilda. And this doll is a Matilda doll. Isn't she just superb with her bag and her very interesting academic type style in clothing? You know, very, very basic. However lovely, and those beautiful tie-ups. Please look at the laces. I love the detail on this doll. And she's such, got such a pretty smile. Fantastic. I love it. And I have, this is one of my favorite dolls. And I think that she's absolutely amazing. Is my beautiful baby here. Isn't she just beautiful with a beautiful pink outfit? I think I bought this outfit especially for this doll, if I'm not mistaken. But isn't she just a princess? And I love the hands, it's so realistic. As if she's moving her fingers about, around. And she looks so happy. Oh, so gorgeous. And last, but by no means least, I have my doll that I bought when I went to Croatia on holiday with my brother. And this is a typical, if you like, Croatian, a Croatian type of doll. Here we are, Croatia on the cap. Very nice. I think the, this little doll might have been at sea, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just show you the back. I love it, the detail. The, the super hair, very nice. And just before I finish, these are the shoes that came with my British National doll. They are the originals. However, I didn't want to keep these on, so I thought I'd just keep them and place a different pair of footwear on my British National doll. Now this pair, I don't think I bought specifically for any doll. I just loved the beautiful shoes. Here we are, give you an idea. Aren't they just so cute? So I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I have and am. Um, the dramatic difference in how I feel is superb. It's the first day I've managed to wear on myself a necklace which refers to my beautiful late father and it's the most beautiful, beautiful um, worded necklace. I'd like to read it out to you if I may please. My mind still talks to you and my heart still looks for you but my soul knows you're at peace there we are i love you my late puppy thank you for all the love you've given me i wish to each one of you a nice day and thank you for watching and if you're enjoying my vlogs please like and subscribe i would appreciate it very very much thank you again bye